हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू कैसे हो आप लोग आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग रियली गुड सो वेलकम टू द थ्योरी पार्ट ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट दिस चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज टाइप्स ऑफ फाइनेंसिंग और वी कैन आल्सो कॉल इट एज द सोर्सेज ऑफ फाइनेंस दिस प्लेज अ बिग रोल बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम uh in the theory part you will be getting a question from this chapter but before we start with this chapter let's try to understand that what all is there in the theory part of financial management and how you can proceed in the examination so as per the ca new course which is the course that you people are currently studying if you talk about the fm part one thing you people are sure about is that you are getting it for 50 marks because the remaining 50 marks is for strategic management right so whether you are a regular course student or anyone you are listening to this video right so 50 marks is for financial management strategic management also i have been teaching now right and in this 50 marks 15 marks you will be getting for mcqs right and remaining part you will be getting it for practical plus theory part now again interesting part here is that if you look at the mtps that is uh, from where we can uh, get to know that how this is going to pan out this theory part again uh, you can optional you can uh, eliminate this part in the optional part and you can opt for mcqs you will have to anyhow attempt it then you can uh, you know go for the practical part but still the theory is going to play a role right because uh, institute if you look at the old patterns also the institute has been asking theory and sometimes you know the institute has been asking the theory in such a way that even if you eliminate this last part of complete theory if you eliminate that still for 3 to 4 marks you will get a theory question in the other parts so this theory part you cannot ignore 100% but yes we can put a limited focus on this theory part that is also an important thing clear and this is what we are going to cover in this theory series of the financial management because this was one of the sort after things right bahut sare bacche uh, was asking for this ki sir theory 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 kara do to chalo sir let's do it theory let's see what is and we are going to use the icci module itself nothing to go here and there for anything right icci module this specifically for this chapter number 2 that is the types of financing or the various uh, sources of financing we can also call it as right now what this chapter is all about chapter number 2 first listen to that what this chapter is about right okay rest of the chapters the th uh, rest uh, the practical part detailed part pvqs uh, mtps rtps we are covering in our main batch right that is available from our uh, website and from our mobile app anyone who wishes to join the complete regular batch financial management strategic management and cost and management accounting paper 4 and paper 6 complete 100% everything is available right so you can uh, go there check it out you can get it the complete set in depth discussion in complete english also and in hindi english mix language both the languages are available so as per your comfort you can go with it okay now coming back to this chapter what this chapter is all about he says that every business needs money right if you are doing a business you need money to run a business without money you cannot run a business can you no sir the next thing is that if you need money how are you going to arrange that money let's say you want to start a new business and you need 10 lakh rupees to start a new business how are you going to raise that uh, 10 lakh rupees how are you going to get you will be investing na how you are going to have that 10 lakh rupees whether you have sufficient funds in your own bank account right that you have 10 more than 10 lakh rupees so out of that money only 10 lakh rupees you will invest in this new business that you want to start with second option is you can go for a bank loan right you can go for a bank loan you can uh, go to the bank and ask for a loan of 10 lakh rupees third option is you can uh, go and ask your friend for 10 lakh rupees Th that is another option so this chapter is all about that if you need money if you need you need money sir 
विदाउट मनी यू कैन नॉट डू बिजनेस यू नीड मनी टू रन अ बिजनेस राइट हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू अरेंज दैट मनी टू रन अ बिजनेस सेकेंड थिंग राइट सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इन दिस चैप्टर इज हाउ टू हाउ टू अरेंज मनी टू रन अ बिजनेस राइट सेकेंड थिंग दैट प्लेज अ क्रूशियल रोल अगेन नाउ द पर्पज फॉर विच द मनी इज रिक्वायर्ड राइट द पर्पज कैन बी यू मे नीड द मनी फॉर वर्किंग कैपिटल वी हैव स्टार्टेड अबाउट द वर्किंग कैपिटल चैप्टर राइट दैट इज फॉर डे टू डे ऑपरेशन द सेकेंड थिंग दैट हेयर इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर इज द पर्पज फॉर विच पर्पज द पर्पज इज इंपॉर्टेंट सर now the purpose can be the various purpose for example you need for day to day operations right day to day operations second is you need money for a particular uh, project that you have undertaken right the third thing is you uh, you may need money to buy a fixed asset for example a plant and machinery right or a land and building for your business so there can be various purposes for which the money will be required and accordingly according to the purpose for which the money is required the source of that will be selected that okay this is the purpose for which the money is required so this uh, how can we arrange the money for this purpose sir for day to day operations for example for day to day operations uh, will you go to a bank to take a loan for uh, let's say 7 years or 10 years or something like that obviously no you will not go for a long term loan you will look for a short term sources for example now you buy, want to buy a fixed asset this fixed asset is for 1 cr now how will you arrange that can you do it through working capital working capital no sir working capital is required for day to day operation for fixed asset you can go for a bank loan or for some other options which might be available right the debt option can be available and all depending upon the various purposes we will have to identify that which source is good for our business right so that is uh, what has been discussed in this particular chapter he says financial needs of a business the business enterprise need funds to meet their different types of requirement that is what the purpose i have been talking about that there are various requirements throughout the business which are to be met right and according to the requirement ki aapki requirement kya hai uske hisab se you will select your source ki paisa arrange kahan se karna hai clear all the financial needs of the business may be grouped in the following three categories so what is the first category that is the long term financial needs long term financial needs are the needs which are required for a period of uh, how much for a period exceeding 5 to 10 years right for example plant and machinery so wherever you want to invest the money that is going to be there for 5 to 10 years period long term financial needs right you need that money for 5 to 10 years that is a long term financial need uh, sir the next one is the medium term financial needs what are the medium term financial needs which are required for a period of uh, uh, exceeding 1 year but not exceeding 5 years see one thing uh, remember in the theory part what you should remember that it is not important to cram word by word what is important to identify the crux point right and if those crux words even in the strategic management i have been teaching that that it is not important to cram word by word and you have to just copy paste word by word nahi aisa nahi karna sir word by word nahi karna important is the crux point should be there in the long term financial need the crux point is the period for which the finance is required right uh, that is 5 to 10 years in the medium term financial needs it is 1 to 5 years right and the examples here are given for example the plant machinery land and building here the need for stores and spares critical spares tools dies mold right which are required for 1 to 5 years and after that another expenditure will be required to be done for example a specific tool for a machinery right it will the tool which you are going to buy at least is going to work for 1 to 5 years after that uh, you might have to change the tool right the short term financial needs are the financial needs for a period of less than 1 year 
it is to finance the current assets investment is known for meeting the working capital requirements right uh, finance the current assets such as stock debtors cash now working capital we have already understood in detail right uh, not exceeding the accounting period that is one year so if you require money for example you have purchased a raw material right you have purchased a raw material on 14 worth 5 lakh rupees right and this raw material will take time to be converted into wip then wip to fg then fg to sales and then sales to debtors let's say this period is how much 90 days what we call it as we call it as operating cycle right now during this period of 90 days you will require money now you this 5 lakh you have already paid uh, to the supplier 5 lakh rupees you have paid to the supplier you have invested the money from your pocket right but when will you recover this 5 lakh only when you will convert this debtors into cash right now that that is going to happen after a period of 90 days so what will you do for 90 days sir you have invested the money from your pocket for these 90 days you require money for day to day operation this is what we have studied in working capital right day to day operations that is what is known as working capital and this is a short term requirement now this money is required for 90 days sir because after 90 days this 5 lakh which was invested we will recover it from our debtors the end right so it is a short term requirement of the finance not exceeding 1 year clear now what is the basic principle for funding uh, the various needs he says the basic principle what is the basic principle says that short term financial needs short term financial needs uh, should be met from the short term sources right medium term financial needs from the medium term sources and long term financial needs from the long term sources accordingly the method will be selected and one way is depending upon the stage at which your business is operating studied about the product life cycle in strategic management isn't it we have already studied about the product life cycle and that product life cycle has been used multiple times throughout the various chapters in strategic management so he says depending upon the product life cycle the plc we will decide that which source of finance we will be selecting for example the business is in a very early stage initial stages at that part the uncertainty is comparatively on the higher side why because we do not know that whether the business will be successful or not right so the uncertainty level is high when you are in the initial stages of the business at that point of time will you go for the debt option will you go for the bank loan option obviously no at that particular point of time you will try to go for more of an equity financing why the reason is very simple logical and simple sir if you go for a debt financing then you will have to pay a fixed rate of interest every month every quarter every year whatever the terms are right you are in the uncertain stage of the business you do not know whether the business will run smoothly or not whether we will be able to earn the profits or not because you are into the very initial stages of the uh, doing the business so when you do not know that how can you go for the debt option what if you are you do not generate sufficient profits to pay off the interest on debt then what will you do sir isn't it so that is why at that particular point of time you will go for equity or angel funding means taking the fund from outside but as an equity you will give the equity share you will give the share in the business that is angel funding right high high to moderate uncertainty same you will go for equity venture capital but you can go for a small amount of debt but the debt should not be a priority this debt is not a priority here is not a priority here it is the last option that if nothing is available then we will go for the debt option now if you are in the growth stage where your product is growing your market is growing you will be earning sufficient profits here the uncertainty will be less moderate to low uncertainty right in that case you can go for a debt option in that case the debt option will be a very good option why because during the growth stage you are earning sufficient profits 
there is no issue that you will not be able to pay the interest on debt. So you are not worried about that. हमें पता है कि interest तो दे ही देंगे क्यों profits आ रहे हैं sir sufficient. Nothing to worry about that, right? The profits are sufficient. We will be able to pay off the interest. Now, in case of debt, why it is a favorable option? You have to pay only a fixed rate. right you have to pay only a fixed rate 7% 8% whereas in case of equity you have to pay everything uh, or the major part out of the profits right after paying off everything whatever the profits the residual income that we uh, call it as the equity shareholders will ask for a major part of that that is why if you are certain about certain about generating the profits if your business is doing good then you can definitely go for a debt option in case of a stable stage the uncertainty is quite low because you are already at the peak of the plc product life cycle you are already at the peak right you have got the stable you are generating profits the competition is stable everything is stable right then go for the only debt option best 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 go for the only debt option clear the next one classification of financial sources now the sources is the areas or uh, the avenues from where we can generate the funds based on the basic sources and based on the maturity of the repayment period right the ba source uh, the basic sources are two either you can raise it from the external sources or the internal sources external is in the form of share capital you issue the shares and you raise the money or in the form of debt or borrowed capital now share capital can be equity shares or preference shares in case of preference shares what is the main feature here the preference shares is you the preference shareholders carry a fixed rate of dividend equity shares do not carry a fixed rate of dividend preference shares will be given preference while paying off the dues right equity shares will get only if something is left after paying off the preference shareholders right just remember the income statement the basic things of financial management which we which we already have been studying uh, throughout the many chapters right debtors debentures loan from financial institutions and others and what is the internal source of finance that is retained earnings that is the best source of finance the cheapest source of finance retained earnings is what it is known as the cheapest source of finance right cheapest source of finance and it is also known as you know what the plowing back of profits this is a term which has been asked multiple times in the examination right so we'll discuss that don't worry uh, so it is based on the basic sources another is based on the maturity of the payment that whether it is for a long term right whether it is for a medium term or whether it is for a short term for example if you have taken a bank loan if you are taking it for a period of less than 1 year it is a short term bank loan right if you are taking it for a period of 1 to 5 years it will be medium term if you are going to take a loan for a period of more than 5 years then it becomes a long term right so when are you going to repay that money it depends upon the long term medium term and short term that is how the sources have been divided long term share capital or equity shares preference shares retained earnings debentures loan from financial institution loan from state financial corporation commercial banks venture capital asset securitization international financing like euro issues bonds and all this this is normally taken for a period of more than 5 years right medium term preferences can be there debentures can be there that is what i have taken an example of a bank loan right bank loan is what it is a debt right a loan from a financial institution now this bank loan maybe for more than 5 years then it will be long term if it is for 1 to 5 years it is medium term if it is for less than 1 year that is a short term right simple short term loans like working capital loans from the commercial banks advances received from customer short term provisions are there medium term medium term loans from commercial banks financial institutions right lease financing is there higher purchase is there external commercial borrowings we'll discuss everything in detail this is this is the whole part that we have to discuss that what are the features right foreign currency bonds are there so this is all about depending upon the maturity maturity means when you are going to repay that amount right for for what period you are going to use that amount that is the payment of uh, maturity right so this is the very basic part that how you are going to arrange the money and what are the factors on which it is dependent it is dependent upon the period for which the money is required the purpose for which the money is required it so it depends upon 
that that from where you are going to arrange that source of finance okay so i'll keep this lecture particularly short and in the next lecture we'll be starting with the sources one by one that what are the various sources in the next video we'll be taking up uh, the equity capital right and it is not necessary to remember each and everything i'll just highlight the key points that's it you are going to get it for three to four marks right each each part is going to be for a few marks only so nothing to worry it is not about uh, you know going about with each and every line and cramming like anything no 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 only the highlighting points i'll discuss only the highlighting points right so in the next lecture we'll take up this equity shares preference share capital then we'll take up retained earnings also in the next uh, lecture itself and uh, the debentures see uh, whatever we are able to take up we'll try to take up right and some of the parts i might skip also because those parts have not been asked or not really that important so i'll skip that part but otherwise we'll be covering uh, almost everything from this particular chapter right so please stay tuned and uh, this video will be available on youtube also so please all those who have not yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and all those who are looking for a full-fledged course go to our mobile app or go to our website mobile app ksu teaching all the links are given in the description of this video so please hit the like button and comment also that please do share with your friends also that is really important right so this is the theory part this is the theory session that we will be covering see you guys in the next video till then stay safe stay healthy keep studying keep sharing thank you so much